Brilliant girl. Angelina Jolie. I give y'all just a little while now. I want him back. My husband and the next president of the United States, John C. Wiley! The key to her to me that made me really like her was they showed me the Life magazine cover of her over his body when he was shot and the look on her face. And, um, and that told me everything I needed to know to like her. No matter how much she was maybe the, the sexy one, the fun one. We've met before, you know. I was wearing a nightgown. She cared very much and she loved him and she wanted to protect his body when he was hurt and she could have been shot at that moment but she was on him and she was holding him. It's gonna be all right. Somebody get us out of here, please. Everybody move Somebody out, please. Somebody get us out of here, please. Get the government What are you doing? Out. Leave me with you. I gotta be with him now. I gotta be with him now. Angelina, I think, was 21 or 22 when she did this movie. From the moment she came on screen, and the moment I started working with her, uh, you could just tell she was in the zone and very, very gifted. I was lucky. Angelina Jolie and Mara Winningham, two great actresses at the top of their game. I remember talking to Gary about this and this idea, was he a racist or was he an opportunist? And which is worse? That was uh, also the, the great thing about the way he directed. He would just, you know, you had an idea, then, you know, to fill out your character and and then, yeah, go for it. Learn. Learn about it. Figure it out. We'll find a place for it. But then I also found out that she wanted to be a country singer. And I made the mistake of telling that to John Frankenheimer, who said, great idea, you should sing, which was not in the original script. And I can't sing at all. So I had to go to singing class and, and learn the Wabash Cannonball. For once, he said, he, he, you know, kind of across from me, he said, Angelina! Come here. I thought, oh, it's me. I'm in trouble. What did I do? And I came over and I said, what? He said, have you eaten? You want something? I got some crackers. How you doing? And I thought, what is, what's happening? He was a bigger than life character. I remember Angelina when she won the Golden Globe and saying, John Frankenheimer, I was so scared of you when I first met you. <laughs> but you're just a big teddy bear. And she sort of uh, put sweet words to something I think most people experience. It was much better. I've never seen a director fight harder to get what he wants and to protect the quality of the work. Angie, Angie will just take it from George C. Wallace. Applause, applause, applause. Here he comes. And he ended up being one of the most um, influential men in my life. He was a great man.